see, you see it? You see how pretty? I feel like people are looking at me because I'm just like walking up to nothing. But I just wanted to show you. Now I feel awkward because there's like a lot of families. Let's go hot box the whip. But so pretty, I made the effort. Okay, I'm gonna come back with the homie and we're gonna make this whole park lit. But because I'm by myself right now, I'm gonna just go in my car. <laughs> Okay. Look how pretty though. Like you live, like that's LA. It's downtown. So blessed. Wouldn't be here without you guys. All right, let's go in the car. Yo, yo, yo. What the heck is popping, my honey boo boos? I haven't made an intro, but I know that I did vlog like a little bit showing you guys where I'm at. And you guys are probably wondering where the heck I'm at. And I decided to go on like a little mini adventure. Gonna take off my shoes because I don't give a fuck. And it's pretty hot in here. So why can't I take off the sweater? But you already know at my hater hose, my outfits be brighter and more popping than your future. So you keep hating. I'm gonna keep staying popping, boo. You already know how we do up on the life of being this. I freaking miss you guys. I feel like I haven't filmed a smoke sesh in a minute. And I was gonna smoke at home, but honestly, I really feel bad because now I have a kitten. I've been vlogging, but I've been lagging on uploading the vlogs. So if you haven't already seen the vlog with my kitten, stay posted because I have a vlog of me like adopting the kitten, picking which one I wanted. I honestly wanted like all of them. So yeah, stay posted for that vlog. I miss you guys so much. I'm really excited to just be here chilling with you guys. About to get lit though. You already know how we do. I hope, I really do hope you guys have been staying lit, staying up, and staying positive. You already know how we do up on the Life of Being Desk fam. I appreciate you guys' support. Real quick, huge notification shout out to this person right here. If you guys aren't already, be sure to hit that bell button so y'all can become part of the notification gang. And I'm fine to give you a shout out in the next video, honey boo boo so let me know in the comments down below that y'all are part of the notif gang gang so yeah but let's get into today's video you feel me we got the blue backwoods thumbnail real quick just kidding let me take out the blunt show you guys my rollies i ain't got no rollies hashtag not pbr oh Actually, it looks fire as fuck. What am I talking about? Look at that shit, PBR, boo. Oh, I'm lit without even smoking yet. So it's pretty fat. Some weed might have fallen out, not too sure. But I also got a glass tip going on. You already know. Kind of added like a little extra piece of tobacco right here on the tip. So it could have like more support because it was a little flimsy. So yeah, I like it. It's actually like a decent looking backwood. Shout out to everybody who has me on Instagram at Life Being Des. Be sure to go follow me because we're always going live on there, getting lit, getting ready, getting it popping. And I was totally on Instagram live for like a good hour trying to roll. And I wasted an entire pack of blue backwoods. Like literally all five I fucked up. So luckily, shout out to Sin, Queen Sin on Instagram because she was the one who actually gave me the pack of backwoods in the first place. So I wouldn't be here smoking or doing this video if it wasn't for her. So gotta give her a huge shout out. Make sure y'all follow her on Instagram too. But I'm fine to get lit, boo. I don't know about you. And uh, I'm gonna post something on Instagram so this could be a little Q&A. A little Q&A. Oh. Damn, I can't find the lighter though. Cheers, you guys. Hey, you ain't got a ton of body that we fucking on the low. You saying that you love me? But say I to all the bros. Baby, you so cute. 
so don't get attached I love you for the day, then fuck you just to get relaxed So don't be trying to spend the night and chill like you my girl Cause you the type to mess with every nigga in the world You telling every other girl trying to end me I'm trying to be your friend And turn into an enemy Want a piece of every pipe from every tray you see Fucking up these niggas left and right so carelessly Got my mind on the money, now what you call for me It's such a shame you was hoeing and now you wanted me You think it works like a game and I'm the character Don't go thinking I'm some prey cause I'm the predator Straight the fuck up, don't be trying to come at me Like I'm a fucking predator, I'm the motherfucking predator Wait, what did he say again? I forgot for everyone who also says, oh, I don't inhale, you're not inhaling. That's why you're watching me get high. The fuck? This pay is so burning, catching cases, stuck in ops. We had to lay low. Well, running shit while we floated off the fake, yo. Hoes on my dick, I'ma beat it if you say so. I let it blow. Wait, what, you, what you gotta do with your homies on snooze? That's what we call a bitch. Can't pull up without your click. Know it's life being dead, so you know how we do. Gonna pull up in here and impress yo, dude. I don't care about the crowd, don't need a shout out. Watch you make it to the top while you hear her hoes flop. Cause you focusing on me, well, you really shouldn't be. Counting all these racks while you know I'm spinning facts. I, I can fuck with these broke hoes no more. I don't fuck with them broke hoes. Cause they broke all these hoes. Hey, song link in the description. Go no blow it up, boo. Send me Snapchat so y'all bump it in. I can, I can fuck with these Swear broke hoes. Swear I will post it. No more. I don't fuck with them broke hoes. Cause, Cause they, they broke. All these hoes keep their mouth closed. Cause, Cause they ain't no slow beat in this bitch. Nigga, I let it blow. You know how we do. Shawty you cute, shawty you bad, you know I want you uh. Shawty you cute, shawty you bad, you know I want you uh. Get in the bed, niggas is mad, you know I want you uh. I say Yeah, cute, I know you, know you bad, want come me Come with your whole crew uh. Hi, Key Gonna start answering your guys' questions So let's see if anybody sends anything do you have a high tolerance when it comes to getting high? Asked by Steffi underscore L-A-L-L. -L. I didn't want to say that wrong because I'm high as fuck already. But I don't know. Like, I've been kind of high-key cutting back, so I'll get high off of a bowl. Um, a month ago, I couldn't say that. A bowl wouldn't get me high. And now I go to the gym and, like, I have a little kitten, so I don't really like, you know, hotboxing the pad with, like, a kitten. So, I still smoke, but I just won't really hotbox. And since my tolerance is going down, I do be getting high now. But, like, yeah, high key, like, if my tolerance is high as fuck, it's, like, you know, takes more more weed or more, like, a, a backwood, you know? Like, honestly, I've been sm I like smoking backwoods now because I can handle them. Before, I, w I still had, like, some baby lungs, I guess, because... I couldn't really handle the tobacco from a backwood. But now, like, I smoke it like it's a Dutch or, like, a regular blunt. Like, a personal and everything, you feel me? Ain't no problem. So, yeah. Sophia asked, have you ever gotten into a fight or punched someone? Um, no. I feel like I'm a very respectful person. I feel like I know how to bite my tongue depending who it is. Low key, if it's family, that's when I kind of like take advantage and I don't bite my tongue because I know no matter what, they're gonna be there and they're gonna love me. But when it comes to people, like irrelevant as people, it's really easy for me to be like, fuck that, I'm, I'm not even gonna waste my breath. Like if I'm not gonna know you or fuck with you in five years, then why am I tripping now? So. I, you know, and I'm not gonna go start punching my family, so nah, I don't be doing that shit. Is Lil Mosey your fave artist? Asked by Peter. Cause, ma, if he ain't cuffing you by now, I don't know what he's doing. I'm dead. Um, yeah, Lil Mosey's cool. I feel like he's young as fuck and he's on some fuck all these bitches type of mood. <laughs> Which is fine, you know, you're young, do you? You know, I, I remember when my mood was like, I was talking to my sister about this the other day too, like, we were tripping about how our thing with our little group of cousins, like, we would all kick it, turn up every fucking weekend, dude, all weekend long, up until Monday, like, type shit. So, 
you know, you gotta have your turn up stage. And so I don't, I fuck with him as an artist, but only as an artist. Would you ever stop smoking weed? <sighs> Not really. Honestly, I don't see why I should. I mean, if I was broke as fuck, I guess I would have no choice. I remember when I was broke as fuck and I couldn't get high, so that sucked. But if I could, if I could smoke, I'ma smoke. Feel it? Movie theaters or Redbox? Netflix, ho? Just kidding, you're not a hoe. What's your sexuality? Straight as fuck. <laughs> I've had some girls like hella fucking get at me too and I'm like y'all cute as fuck but I'm just I like dick like I, I can't fuck a girl so but I could think you're beautiful as fuck you feel me like you popping boo but we, we could both just be popping <laughs> like I don't know I don't know I don't know about all that but I don't discriminate have you ever tried the Russian cream backwards before? Hell yeah, those are fire. After Tokmas, can you do daily vlogs? Probably not. I'm more on like filming when I got time to film rather than feeling obligated to film. So, yeah. Have you ever gone into a physical fight? How come everyone wants to know if I got in a fight? Probably because if you guys follow Obleezy on Instagram, that's my sister, she's always talking about catching fades with these hoes. My sister gets down. If you don't, you don't, like, you fuck with me, my sister's gonna pull up, like, straight up. So, I just, I don't know. There's two kinds of people out there. How do you deal with anxiety? I'm struggling. It's so hard, but I've been talking about it in some of my vlogs. So, you guys are gonna see how I kind of just deal with it. But it sucks. Like, I get frustrated, but there's nobody to get mad at except for myself. So, when I'm frustrated, I'm just frustrated, you know, like when I can't figure something out and then, you know, that turns into anxiety and stuff like that because especially if I'm in public, like I can't just be frustrated in public, you know, like that's just weird. So instead I get anxious because I can't figure something out and then I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And like, I feel so weird. Like I just feel this thing in the middle of my chest, like just getting tight and it, <sighs> it's the worst, but you have to breathe and then once you um, achieve like little things, you have to recognize those things. Recognize those things and be proud of yourself. Recognize the fact that, hey, like I'm like I literally would tell myself that like when I go and do things out in public, like go grocery shopping. When I'm getting into my car driving home, I'm like thinking to myself, like good job, Des, like you did that. Like remember how you felt anxious? Well, guess what, bitch, you just did that, so you chilling. And I think recognizing that and like kind of like low key like giving myself a pat on the back oh my gosh tell me why i almost grabbed my chapstick as a lighter i always do that where's my lighter i found a different one this backwards getting a little loose not gonna lie but honestly like oh my gosh Shout out to Young Mike. He said, how you got swag? Boo, all you gotta do is be yourself. Literally, okay, you know what's funny? This isn't your question, but a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, even like other content creators will reach out to me and be like, yo, how are you so popping? No, I'm just kidding. But like, what do they say? They just say like, 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 I don't know what their question is. Like, not how you got swag, but like, how are you like just popping? And honestly, you have to think you're the best. You have to think that you're the most popping bitch, you know? Like, yeah, deep down you're gonna have like moments where you don't think that, but think that as much as you can. Like, I'm in public. It's so funny, like when I'm in my car and I'm bumping my music and I'm not even smoking yet, but I'm chilling, like playing a song that I fuck with, like I feel confident, I feel happy, I feel at my best. And when I'm out in public, I try to remember that feeling of just like, I'm popping. Like, cause when I'm listening to music, chilling, driving, I kind of feel like I'm in a little music video. I feel like every, all I, 
my camera stopped recording, but like basically that I look dope as fuck, you know, like I could just imagine myself in a music video turning up, looking poppin'. So when I'm in public, like literally just walking through the grocery store, I feel like everyone's looking at me, and then I just try to think, I'm poppin', like I'm cute, like I'm, my outfit looks good, like my hair looks good, like I, my makeup's good. If you feel confident, like just within yourself, like, you just have to radiate that confidence, you know, and just kind of remind yourself that, hey, I did my makeup this morning and I got ready and I look good. That's why somebody's looking, if they are looking. If anything, they're probably not looking. But, yeah. You gotta think you're the, you're the most popping and then everyone else is gonna catch on to that. You know what's funny is that I used to know somebody from high school and they used to wear their jacket like half on half off they used to tie their flannels like this diagonal they used to do all kinds of weird shit honestly like when it came to like their fashion or a haircut or just something you know and what's so funny is that those things that i saw them doing when i was like a freshman in high school which was like five years ago those things that they were doing are now trends you know like things are like, people catch on to things. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so sad right now. That whole back would just... Basically, people will catch on to your poppiness. And they're not gonna tell you that you're popping, but they're gonna... Like, like people who are hating on you just wanna be you. Damn, you see hella my rolls. Okay. Bro. You guys. I just wasted hella fucking weed. That whole back wave just came out. All this smoke is coming out, you guys. I don't think you can see the smoke. Wow, that was just awesome. I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much love for me to you. I'm gonna film a gingerbread building house video. So let me know down below in the comments. Um, any other future videos you want me to see or other creators you want me to collab with. And I'll definitely do that for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope my video was able to make your day a little bit brighter. If it was, you already know, honey boo boo. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button so I know to continue filming these videos. And I really wish I filmed a nature sesh, but there was a lot of people, so I'm gonna try to, oh shit. I'm gonna try to come back at night, so hopefully there'll be less people and I could be straight chilling. Obviously not gonna be by myself at night though. And um, yeah. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button so y'all do not miss out on any future videos. But most importantly, honey boo boo, don't forget to stay lit, stay up, stay lit, stay up, and stay positive, you guys. Double do. Until next time.